the third generation. I told Dad, I said, so I said, Dad, I told me, he said, no, this is the fifth generation. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Sioni. Sioni, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's the fifth generation, not the third. The third well, so I didn't know. Of course, uh, one of my grand... Um, Melvin, go ahead and slate it for us. Tell us uh, mm -hmm. what was your initial interview with... They were going to have an interview with Mr. Carlson mm -hmm. Frank and Mr. Carl Frank. We'll start with Mr. Carlson Frank. And today is mm -hmm. your day. This is my day. Today okay. is your day. And uh -huh. what we're here for today is so that you can tell your story, what you would like people to know. And you've been around a long time. You've been playing music for a long time. Yeah. But that's all we know. Yeah. Now we want to try to find out a little bit more about Mr. Carlson Frank. Mm -hmm. And uh, I guess we can back up and start with you the best thing to do. Mm -hmm. And that's start with who your parents were. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, my parents was uh, Joseph Frank, my parents. All right. And my mother was uh, Laurie. Okay. Mm -hmm. And grandparents. Oh, the, the, the grandparents, was, grandparents, it was Joseph too, but that, that my dad was Joseph Jr. Junior, yeah. Junior, yeah. Okay. Yeah, but the uh, grandparents, you know the name? It was supposed to be Martin. Martin, is it? Yeah, Martin. Yeah, yeah. 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 It, it, our grandmother. Mm -hmm. Okay. But yeah, it was Martin. Yeah. Okay. Well, good. Mm -hmm. uh, now, where where were you raised? Well, uh, he rolled, they call it. Jean de Brienne, whatever you want to Long put up. Yeah, yeah, well, that's the real that. name. Yeah, right. Jean de Brienne, yeah. Yeah, right. Okay. Yeah. Anything that you remember special about coming up as a kid? A lot of work, I don't know that. A lot, a lot of work. What kind of work? <laughs> well, you say work. You yeah, you know, like the farm and uh, make cotton, corn, sweet yeah. potato. Sugar cane, a little bit of everything, peanut, a little bit of everything. What about during the winter? What was going on during the winter? Well, I don't know why we cut wood, put in the fire to warm up here. Okay. You know, the little rabbit, if you can. Mm -hmm. One, one or two. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hunt? Hunt with what? Guns? Well, the, uh, oh, that, I don't name that, but I'm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hunt with a slingshot. Right. The rabbit. Oh, that's pretty good. With a dog, you know. Yeah. Yeah. What did dog remember? Oh, no, no. I, 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 you got me huh? that. I don't you don't know, remember I, the dog name? I don't remember the dog name. I had so many, you know. Okay. No, no. You said you picked cotton. Oh, yeah, all my life. I did. Oh, yeah. And you planted cotton. Oh, yeah, I planted cotton for my own, too, after that, after I got married. Okay. After I got married, I formed one year. <laughs> After one, I got, one year after I got married, and I moved here and swallowed it. So, yeah. so you, you, didn't, you didn't move from Dural to Swallow so you wouldn't have to plant cotton anymore? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, not the same, but I, I still <laughs> form over here. Still form over here. Yeah, for okay. a few years, not, not too many years. Okay. Mm -hmm. what, uh, when you was in Dural, what, uh, mm -hmm. you remember the name of the music? Yeah. <laughs> What's the name of the music? Sam and Mike. Sam and Mike. Yeah. Had two mules. Yeah. You ever had a mule to die? When you, that you remember when you was a kid? You died? Yeah. Yeah, they, they both died then. I mean, that you ever had one that died and you had to go back and buy another one? You ever remember anything like that? Oh, not right, right off, no. Not right Yeah, he keeps, he cuts them. Yeah. Oh, that's what I don't know what to do, me. No, but just talk. Okay. It's your yeah. day. You just yeah. talk. Yeah, yeah. That way, the more you talk, the less I have to ask. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah. So it makes it a lot easier. Yeah, okay, yeah. It's your day. Understand. So Wherever yeah. you want to go. You yeah, go. yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. So we'll just continue. Mm -hmm. uh, so you moved to Swallow in what year? 
Oh, that must be in now. Let's see if I can remember what year that is. It should be in the 53 or 54 move over here. Maybe. When you moved, when you were married? Yeah, after that move, yeah, yeah. That move, that move, that move, that move, I was married. Yeah. Now, for a few years, you know what? I was working late, child, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Did you have any kids when you moved here? No. No, they, they're all born here in, in the swallow. All my kids born here in the swallow, they didn't have no. No. Okay, and where did you work at in Lake Charles? PPG. Yeah, I worked 10 years at PPG, construction. Okay. And I left from there, I worked at the uh, sawmill, no game, eight years. Then I left from there and went to that plywood plant. They got a name for that. I don't know the name of it. But I, uh, I didn't work that long before I got sick there from there. I had to stop working, you know. Yeah. And that was in Samty. Then I, I, I stopped working. I've been disabled for a long time. So I got a problem with my voice. I got one of my vocal cords, that's what you call that? Yeah. Who, who don't wake, I just want to wake, you see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, when did you start playing the violin? Oh, that was over there and you all over there. Yeah, that was. Mm -hmm. Paul, my brother, had that, that, that guitar and violin, that's when I started with, with that, you know. Yeah. Now, what year that was, don't know, though. I got no idea what year that would be, though. That was a long time. You see, him the way it was there. Uh, it should be around 44. Yeah. Okay. Then I got start. Yeah. yeah. I start playing with, uh, after I learned, you know, the guitar first, I, the guitar learned first. Then I, I start playing with uh, the Frank Henry. We played a long time, I played a long time with him. Yeah. Then after that, well, I start messing with the violin. Start from there. Yeah. Which one is easier to play? Well, the guitar was easy yeah, because I didn't really play the guitar. I was just bass, you know. Yeah, I was just bass. In them days, people didn't play guitar. I don't know why, but they sure did. It was bass uh, rhythm, you know, called now. But it was, that reason was easy because I was just bass, you see. Most of the violin it was the same way when I first started. I was just bass, I didn't play, no. I played a long time with my father, but I say, I was just uh, bass, I didn't play at all. Then finally, later here, will I start playing again. And I played years with him, I didn't just bass with it. That's all. I played with a bunch of musicians. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You remember I said, if I were like you here, yeah. I used to play with him, too. I know you probably in Lenoble now. Yeah. And uh, they're they all dead, most of them. And uh, the other, uh, if I'm very fair, Clover. In fact, if I be, Fort No. You can play with all that. I don't play with a lot of musicians. Yeah. Who was the best musician you think you played with? Well, for all time, I'll say my parents, yeah, for all time, you know, for the, for the old time music. But next, I'll, I'll have to say press next, the press tone, yeah, for the lyric music, you know, yeah. When you say parents, you're talking about Alphonse. Yeah, that's my parents, yeah. Mm hmm Yeah. What's the first song you played? Hmm, that's a good question. <laughs> I don't even remember. I don't even remember. I tell you to know. How long uh, with us, you know. To say that the, the real thing, uh, I never didn't, I wasn't a, a person who 
was was playing uh, ahead, you know. I always play in the back. I never didn't lead a band, in other words. That's why it's hard for me to play by myself now, because I never did learn that way. And then I can't remember my song, you know. You know, like some people do just remember one song from God, you know. Can't do that. So I always depend on somebody else, that's what they did too. Now, if I got to play by myself, and now it's hard on me. So sometimes, some of them songs, well, I might just play my part. And the other part was that other, the, the other part, you know. So like that, some of them songs, I don't know all the songs that way because I would play just my part. That would hurt me. To play by myself, I'll say that way. Yeah. But to play with somebody, well, that I've been that, like that for a long time. Yeah. Where were y'all playing? Where would y'all go play to connect with each other? Oh, we played at uh, houses. You know, most of it was houses uh, when I first started. Yeah, but later on, well, they had some little club after that. But the first start was houses, yeah. Yeah. When, we play, when I play with Ken Report, you know, it was, it was most for the wide we played, though. You know, at them time, black people didn't have too much money, you know. So they had more money to play for the white people than, than the black. That's the reason we played more for the white people, because they actually had more money than us, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Would you play different if you played for the white than you would play for the two white? No, but they were the, the, the same. same. Yeah, it was the same. Yeah, but the same, I'll say, yeah. It was the same music, yeah. And they liked it, so, yeah. Mm -hmm. Do what you <coughs> remember <coughs> Amadei Harbor? No, I don't. All I know is the name. No, I don't remember him. No. Sure don't. And uh, talk about your friend a little bit. Mm -hmm. He's been married how long? Oh, oh well, uh, I think it's around 43, I think. I'm not sure now. Around 43, I think. 43 years. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How many kids? 11 children. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And how many at home? It got uh, one, I'll say now, off and on. You know, we drive them big trucks, you know, that regular. You know. Now, yeah. how, uh, I know you played a lot of music and went a lot of places. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Played out of state a lot? Not really. Not out of, I went uh, one time overseas, we went over there for a week, overseas and played. With Preston, that's when I was playing with Preston, though, yeah. Yeah. In you know, New York and things like that, you know. Yeah. We went there. Mm -hmm. Any of your kids play? No. Man one. They even try. <laughs> They're not answering that all. No. Is that kind of disappointing? No, not really. You know, I figured that's, if that's not in them, you know. It's not in them, that's all. Yeah. Yeah. Did you play a lot around the house? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, when I was younger, yeah. Oh, yeah, I used to go play and dance. I would like that so much when I come back, I'd stop on the road and play again. <laughs> you know that little bridge? When you turn to come from, from 104 there, mm -hmm. turn to go to the house over there, mm -hmm. you had a little bridge there. I used to stop and play there, yeah. But I was hard, I wasn't by myself. I had a little something to, to boost me up, I can, if, if I can say that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I liked it that them days, you know. Yeah, I would like to play, man. But now I'm just play to play. Now it's not that I like that no more, no. No, because I had stopped for a long time, yeah. In other words, to come back there on this, what I'm um, talking about that, 
is is known in our family that uh, on our oldest days we stopped. You see, my grandfather had stopped. He didn't play no more. He didn't have no violin no more. My dad was playing. He stopped. He didn't have no card no more. And I stopped too. But do you know what got me started? It's my term, the one very old me. It was one of very old me, you see. I didn't have no video. We had the uh, uh, album, we had that, but no video, you know. So I decided to stop acting with press here. Yeah. And I went play dance uh, to a jazz dad, my nephew, and they video me. And I, I got star like that. It wouldn't be for that, I might be out, been out. That's the reason I stopped back. I stopped for, I guess, seven, eight years, nine years, I remember, long time there. I didn't play no more. I didn't like it no more. I didn't even like to hear the music no more. I had like a, like a break, a nerve breakdown, you know. Yeah, at that time. That's, that's what got me started. And I kept on that day. I hope I go ahead now, I'm gonna stop again. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna try to go ahead though. Yeah, yeah. Because it kept the old music going, you know. This might encourage the, the young, maybe. Yeah, some young, you know, I see. Do you think that the Vatican music is changing? I mean, you play for the way it's being played now. Oh, yeah, to me, it's a big change. Especially that rhythm, you know, that's a big change. Vatican music is good, I like it, yeah, but. Uh, to me, that old tradition music does that to stay. Does that to stay to me. That ego music is very good, but to, it might run out, I don't know. But that old one not gonna, gonna go out. That's gonna be there. That's my idea, it's not that I know that, no. That's my idea, because it's been that long enough. If it had to play out, it wouldn't be there no more, right? That's been there for years and years, and it's still there. And some pretty music too. Mm hmm. Well, I like that he go though. Oh, yeah. But I can't, I can't play it now. <laughs> Just a little bit, but not much. <laughs> no, no, not much. No. How much money do you ever remember making the most amount of money you've made in one time? At one time, you're talking about? No, no. I don't remember. I'll say, but uh, maybe like, like, like maybe fifty, sixty dollars for uh, for an hour or something like that. That's about the most that I, I can remember. You know, that fifty, sixty dollars for one hour. That's about all I can remember. You know, and then I might make more than I remember. I don't know. Yeah. That's a good number. Oh, yeah. That's better than three dollars uh, a day when I got to start working the right form. <laughs> That's what it was paying then. Yeah. But I threw you off them. I'm, I'm jumping something there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Mm hmm. <laughs> Played a lot of music. Lot oh, of yeah. Time. Oh, yeah, for a long time. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. And how many violins you ever had? Oh, I didn't ever really have all that many, no. I say about five, six, but the um, most of the had, I see, yeah. But the most, yeah. Mm hmm. If there is anything you could do right now, what would you do as far as you started from the for music? Mm -hmm. What would you like to do? Well, just play the, the old rhythm, you know, the old rhythm, you the old music. Yeah. If you could go and play anywhere, where would you like to go play? <laughs> That's a good question. I don't know. You know, I don't, I like to play, but it's, it's it's not, I wouldn't like to go too far in one way because of my health, you know. 
it's kind of hell for me to promise something sometimes, and I don't know how I'm going to feel that when the time gets there. You know. But I still do it every now and then in a way, though. But uh, in my condition, uh, I don't know if I feel good enough you know, to go at that time when the time gets there. Yeah. But sometimes if I got to go, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll take a chance. Yeah. Yeah. You ever felt sick and start playing and start feeling bad? Yeah, sometimes, yeah. Yeah, sometimes I be feel like I'm weak and then after that, pick up. Yeah. yeah it sure did do that, yeah, more than one time, oh yeah. Yeah. Now the violin you have now, where'd you get that from? I got it from Mark Savo. That's it right there. Mm hmm Yeah, my, my Paul, my brother Paul used to play, yeah. Yeah. But come back on the same thing again, he stopped. You see, that that's, seems like it's in our blood, that. Maybe I shouldn't say that, that like that, but that's what I see. So from the way back, you see, that the way it come to that present, him, him so far that I know him, he never can stop him. But him, though. Well, maybe he's not old enough yet. <laughs> I want to him answer that question now. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. you say that it's in the blood that you stopped, but you started again. Yeah. But that's when before my term, I, I don't think. And another thing, I got to give him, uh, I, had, I forgot that part there. I got to give my wife credit too. Because her, she, she wants me to play. Yeah, she coached me to play. You know, you, you don't you don't see that too often. Maybe I, 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 I shouldn't say that. I don't know. But uh, most of the time, maybe why maybe you might not like that. You know, sometimes you be playing, and you know, some lady might come talk to you or something. You know, you know what I mean. <coughs> they might not like that. You know, some lady might not want you to play. That's the point I'm getting on that. But her, no. She tried to push me to play that. I'm not lying, no. Mm -hmm. No. She want me to go. Did you ever get to the game? Oh, yeah, but now, you know, yeah, she go with me all the time now, but mm, long time ago, no, she couldn't go. Remember all them children I showed you? She, 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 she had to stay with them. She had to babysit. Mm -hmm. But now in a while ago, you know, she come with me, and she's a person who like to go somewhere. Maybe that's the reason she wants me to play, so he gave her a chance to go. <laughs> yeah, I, I might, I might be talking too much. That she ain't gonna hear that now. <laughs> she gonna hear that. Uh oh. But that's a good compliment to her. Okay, then. All right. Yeah, that's good. All right. Yeah. So she was very supportive in you. Oh yeah, oh yeah. She wants me to play. Oh yeah. Yeah, she said I got enough confidence in me. Sometimes you know I got to go play. I got to go play most of the time with me in prison. I got to go play for a workshop and things like that. I said, I don't know if I should go for that. I mean, to me, I'm not good enough and stuff like that, you know. And he said, you don't have enough confidence in you. That's your problem. Mm -hmm. But still trying to push me <coughs> to play, right? Yeah. So that, that, that encouraged <coughs> me a lot right there. You know, somebody won't try to, yeah. But it's not that I like that no more, no, I'm not going to lie, no. Mm -mm, like I used to be, you know. No. Mm -mm. And then uh, I'm with my head too, you see. Yeah. If I could have a drag some of that little red coat that I used to drag, that would be different. That would <laughs> oh, yeah, that would Oh, yeah. It would make it different, yeah. And you believe that anyway. <laughs> like I told you a while ago, when I used to go play there sometimes, you know, that looked at me that was sounding good, you know. The next day I tried that, and that thing was right, that, that, that didn't sound like nothing. But I didn't have no more that stuff, you see. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's what the problem. But uh, I'll say that, uh, I don't know if there's another subject I'm going on, but I'll say that uh, to the young people. If you want to learn to, to play music, don't drink to learn. No, that's not good. 
be sober if you want to learn to play music. That that I don't prove that no no one say. Because the, the little bit I know now, I'll come back uh, on this kind of thing like this. The little bit I know now is when I stop drinking, I learn what a little bit I know now. I wasn't, you know. The time I was drinking, I thought I was doing something, but I wasn't doing anything. That was that red coat was talking. <laughs> yeah. So you were trained for yourself and not for the people. Right, like that, you see? Yeah, that I, I, I tell it to the young people. Play sober. Learn sober after you, if you want to drink. If you drink after you learn, it's okay, you know. Yeah. But, uh, and then to come back on that breakdown, I had uh, another breakdown there. See, I never didn't come back like I was after that no more. He didn't know. I used to play better than I play now, yeah. Uh, I, 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 a lot of people tell me I used to play well, better than I play now. But I, I never didn't come back so that I had another breakdown, you see. Like I was before. I said that way. I just can play the best I remember. You see, I know it had to be something wrong with me because I didn't even want to hear music no more. Like I said a while ago. There had to be something wrong now. I didn't want to hear no music, no. Don't, don't even want to be around it. Till finally they passed me, you know, with the meds and everything, you know. Then I start back again, like I said. Yeah. Mr. Paul, you used to play. A little bit. When I first learned it was on a harmonic, when I was about 10, 12 years old, something like that. I learned on the harmonic. Then uh, in 1941, the they, they start with job and the war. They start building food poke over there. Me and Kenway and Wilson the Mayor, Shun. Mm -hmm. We went over yonder, we brought us a, a tent and we camped in there. And Kenway had a violin and Shun brought a guitar. So, but he was working at, at night and me and Kenway was working in daytime. So at night he could be with us. So, so I, I learned, Kenny kind of taught me how to play the, uh, uh, play the guitar behind him with, with uh, Wilson the Mayor's guitar. So I ended up and learned on, on his guitar and he never learned him because he didn't have time, to, you know, uh, Kenny really didn't have time to taught him how to play. And you know, that's how, that's how I start with the guitar. And I was always telling Kenny, I said, the further we separate, I'm gonna learn how to play the violin. Because sometimes he would let me try. That didn't sound like nothing, you know, behind him. But I knew uh, when I would be by myself, I knew I could learn. And when we separate, uh, I ordered me a, a violin and I, I start from there. Yeah. And uh, I play until when I got married in, in 1945. I was four. And uh, I didn't have no shotgun, and I traded my violin for a shotgun, and, and, and that killed my my taste to play music then. Mm -hmm. Right. So I quit. So you traded your violin on the shotgun. shotgun. Right. And the guitar, I guess I left it with them. I don't I'm remember. Pretty sure. I'm pretty yeah, sure. I don't remember what the uh, what the guitar went to. I don't remember. Yeah, no, I don't remember. I know the violin. I traded on there. Shotgun because I didn't have none, and I needed a shotgun in, in my house. And two people to buy me one and kept my body. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but two people to do that. Now you've been married how long? 52 years. Yeah, it's gonna be 53. May 5th, man. So, yeah, 52 years I'm gonna be married. How many kids? Six. Two boys. Four girls. That's a long time. That's a long time, yeah. Mm -hmm. But the time don't it pass, I, I never notice. You know, the time pass, you don't notice that. You, know. you ever think you'll go back and start playing? I don't think so, no, no. I don't have no taste for that no more. You see, when my mother in law died, well, I didn't want to play because my wife didn't want to hear that, you know. So I quit playing then. 
So I never start saying, you know, I, I don't, I, I don't have the taste for it. You never played with a band. Have you ever? Yeah, me and Kenny did. Kenny. Yeah, me and Kenny from um, <coughs> two pieces. No, no drum and nothing. Just me and him, two pieces. And I play with Bussett too. Yeah, not Bud, but I play with both of them. So y'all got a lot of musical talent in you. Or just down there. there. Yeah, yeah, black boy down there, yeah. A lot. You know, like I said, I never, I never got good at it, but still I could play it, though. Still harmonica, guitar, violin, and then the first board accordion alone, you know, then. But, but before that, I had never tried to call it. No. Mm. <coughs> but then I would love, you know, to play with that. After I quit, then I don't care for it no more. Well, I know you've seen a lot of change in music, and especially when you got your your grandson who is yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, playing a lot of the music at oh the yeah, top. Oh yeah, he's at the top, yeah. yeah. And it's been and changed I'm proud a lot. of it, yeah. The music has changed a lot. Oh, a lot. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah, we were lost <coughs> indeed. Because me and Ken we would play a little bit, a little bit uh, <coughs> French stuff, yeah. The time we would play together. Or maybe either one of you. Uh, <coughs> music started when, of course, we call it Zydeco now. Yeah. What was it called then? Well, uh, like I said, well, uh, we had some people would play Zydeco, but what me and Cameron would play was not Zydeco. No, we mainly Creole stuff. Yeah. But like Clifton would play Zydeco, you know. Uh, that Duke fella, I forgot his name. Rock and Dozer, yeah, yeah, right. He would play that. They didn't have many, no. Uh, they didn't have that many uh, uh, people. Then they had a fellow would call Henry Pula. He was playing uh, is, uh, is that music too, you know, a little bit. How different was the music that you were playing compared to what the Cajun people were playing? Well, it was pretty much the same. Yeah, it was pretty much the same at that time. But now it's different now. But at that time, it was pretty much the same thing. <coughs> yeah. So they had a man who lived here, used to play. Had the company. Yes, right. Mm -hmm. Right, right, yeah. He was a good one, yeah. Oh, yeah. And we loved that, him. A every chance he would get, you know, he would go to the store. He was playing the music, yeah. Oh, yeah. I know you went many times to the store and he was playing. <laughs> he was playing. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, that's, uh, when you start playing, you were which generation of playing the violin and the accordion? What generation is that in the family? Second with y'all? Uh, 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 third with him. <coughs> third with him, yeah. Third with yeah. him, yeah. Mm -hmm. Fourth right there. Yeah, fourth right there. Fourth over there. Yeah. <laughs> it's <laughs> not that. You got a fifth. <laughs> and and it's true. It's true. It's true. It's true. It's the fifth. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's who, then for the dawn, you know, we don't remember. No, no, no. For no, the we don't not, remember for the dawn. No, no, that no, 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 no. Is there anything, since I'm talking to you, Mr. Paul, is there anything you'd like to tell the world about you that you'd like them to know that you've done in your life? Mm, I don't know. I know I did a lot of hard work, that's all I know. <laughs> a lot of hard work. Yeah. Different work, work on the railroad, different things. All time hard work. Now everything is much easier now. Much easier. But sometimes I kind of get mad because you know it was so hard for us. Now it's so easy. You see, like mm -hmm. those, uh, like those plastic overflow they put on them legs. We had to do that with a shovel. Now we, we got a bad mm -hmm. way to do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I kill myself for them things. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> no, them young ones, no, they don't turn no show up then. They do that with tractor. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What about you? Anything you'd like the world to know about you? <laughs> oh, no, okay, you can't surprise me that. No way. But the, after I'm gone, or what do you mean there? Now. Uh, now, yeah, yeah. What you like the world to know about you? What? I got no idea that that is true. I can't, I can't answer that, that right now. No. I got no idea what is happening with you. For them to know about me, yeah. C'est un peu crazy, ce qu'il parle de New York. Peut-être, tu vas me comprendre New York. York Peut-être. Et vous, vous, vous la langue de ces gars-là de vous? Oh non, là, nous ne connaissons pas, oh non. Ou à bien. Non, là, moi, je ne connais pas où à bien. Je ne connais pas où à bien. C'est pas l'idée où à bien, nous, la langue de New York. Parce qu'elle n'a pas été écrite. Elle n'a pas été écrite? Ok. Tu ne connais pas non plus, toi, tu n'as pas le droit de demander ça. Tu ne connais pas non plus. Un chose est ce qu'on est, il n'a différent de créole. C'est un autre chose. Il n'a pas été créole, mais il n'a pas parlé créole ici comme ça, mais d'autres places, il n'y a pas de créole. Non, non, non. Tu connais ça. Je ne sais pas où ça, ça devient, non, non. Oui, tu veux notre crayon. Tu veux tu qui a crayon? Non. Non, pas un qui a crayon qui mousse qu'on est. Je vais te dire comment ça je fais. Mais ça comprend, je pense. C'est une nation qui comprend le vieux, je le comprends. Et, et je vais te dire comment ça je fais. Ça se lance comme tu commences quand tu te maries. Tu vois, moi, ma femme, c'est de peu crayon comme tu connais toi-même. Mais moi, ma femme ne parle pas crayon dans la maison, moi. C'est pas croyable, ça. C'est la seule moi ici. On va chercher les crayons, c'est qui qui est crayon, bien. Il n'y a pas de crayon à la maison du tout. C'est commencé comme ça, c'est pas croyable. De oui, comme ça, tu commences, tu continues. Ma femme va jamais me demander mon crayon, crayon. Non Et moi non plus. Elle a commencé comme ça, c'est pour ça que mes petits n'ont pas pris. C'est les crayons de sa stop. Mm -hmm. Mes petits ne peuvent tout parler les crayons. On est comme presse, et ce qu'on peut dire ça, et ce qu'on peut presse, ils défendent visuellement bien. Lui. Mais je pense que ils ne sont pas les autres par les grillons, les autres. Mm -hmm. C'est quel long en that way Ça, c'est correct, hein Mais comment ça pour apprendre à ne parler pas Je ne connais pas comment j'ai fait ça, c'est une grosse erreur que j'ai fait ça. I regret it, c'est le regret. Oh oui. Vous savez, tant mieux parler d'eux que du sel. Moi, je ne vais pas te cacher. Peut-être que je peux parler de choses, je ne peux pas me dire ça quand même. Et tu vois, moi, je n'ai pas honte de ma langue créole. Parce qu'il y a du monde, ça, si on te dit, si tu connais ça, si on voit, c'est bien. Il y a du monde que ça va parmi les Américains, moi, j'appelle. Je ne peux pas dire rien de mal. Ça ne veut pas parler créole. Moi, ça, ça ne me gêne pas, ça. Comme si moi et toi, avant qu'ils se placent, tu comprends? Un bisou américain, là, toi, tu veux plus parler, tu veux plus parler créole. Moi, ça me gêne pas, ça. Peut-être que je peux parler trop, mais c'est de moi, fille. Ok, je trouve que j'ai bien off que les autres, parce que moi, je peux parler deux, là. C'est pas bien, ça. C'est comme ça, moi, je le vois, tu veux. C'est peut-être pas comme ça, toi, tu le vois. Ça, je te dis, j'ai peut-être pas parlé trop. Ça fait une bonne parole. C'est bon? C'est une bonne parole. Moi, moi, j'ai bien de moi, on dirait, moi, j'ai bien off que les autres, je peux parler deux, moi. Ils ont pas la gagne. Ils ont avant les autres. Tu vois, si. Je suis un peu plus proud de mon créole, moi. Oui. C'est ça qui vend dans la musique, le caractère d'un créole qui vend dans la musique. Ah, you go. Oui. Dans toi, tu vois. Oui. Oui. On veut jouer la musique, c'est un créole américain. Mais c'est un créole, on l'appelle un créole là. Oui, c'est créole, parce que ça chante de créole. C'est un créole, oui. C'est un créole, oui.
Oui, il y avait peut-être quelque chose qui n'était pas créé, on va dire ça comme ça, tu sais. Mm -hmm. C'est tout qu'on joue avec, avec, avec André. Mm -hmm. Des fois, lui, le jeu qui était élevé, il venait. Là, il avait... L'autre qui était un bon chanteur aussi, euh, de fin de jour, Léry, qui joue avec les autres dans ce temps-là. Tu connais ce genre de fin de jour, Léry, là mm -hmm. C'était un bon chanteur aussi. Bon, vous... Ça, quand vous dites « Hillbill », qui t'amuse Qui tu faisais la musique qui était un « Hillbill » C'est ça, moi, que c'est sous pareil, quoi. Différent. Rien de ma guerre, ça, non, non. Non. C'est vous différent, est-ce qu'on est ça C'est différent, parce qu'on ne sait pas qui c'est qu'il fait. C'est différent de musique, for sure. That's the only thing I can dance, c'est d'amis. Il y a différent de musique. Non. Il y a du monde qui l'aime, mais c'est LB, et tu vas avoir le salmon, non Yeah. Et les autres, ils n'ont jamais été forts à ça, ils n'ont pas été élevés, non, non. Les griots, les autres, bien. Yeah. Mm -hmm. C'est bon. Bien. Yeah. Parce que c'est ça, tout le monde va attendre que ça soit bien. Je souhaite que pas rien trop mauvais. <rire> ça, je n'ai pas parlé trop. <rire> rien de mauvais quand c'est la vérité. Oh, oui, ça, ça c'est ah. une chose, mais oh, oui, ça aussi la vérité, ça. Ah, c'est vrai. Oh, oui. C'est pour ça que c'est bien, donc. Bien. Yeah. Mais le monde va dire, attends, ça l'a dit, alors. Oui. Ok. Oh oui, il prend des swallows. Oui, il prend des swallows. Mais bon, tu connais peut-être que c'est le... C'est un drôle d'affaire, ça, là, c'est pas... Tu vas commencer quelque chose pour pas finir, c'est bon. C'est pas souvent, donc. Les sujets, c'est souvent, souvent, ça se fait, mais... Sans arriver... Euh... Quand tu maries quelqu'un, c'est rare, si tu ne vas pas rester là où la, la, la dame reste. Oui. C'est pas tout, mais c'est plus souvent. Oui. Tu vas l'entendre dans les deux autres là. Juste pour un commencement. Elle ah, vient de là-bas, il y a un ici. Notre femme vient d'ici, donc. Là, j'ai mon frère aussi, la houle. La femme vient d'ici. C'est plus souvent tu vas, tu penses du mot au bord de la femme. Je pense que c'est bon, donc c'est bon d'être bon de la forme, qui n'était pas bien que la forme, mais pas bon. C'est bien. C'est pour l'épée. Hein? C'est pour la paix, peut-être C'est peut-être pour la paix. Ah, donc, l'homme est hide. Qui n'était pas bien que la forme, c'est mal pris. C'est un homme dans l'arbre. C'est pas de petit mot sans ça. Ça, c'est pas que tout le monde s'en servait, ça. C'est pas tout, mais je lui montre sa poche, bon, là où la forme doit aller, mon score. Mon vie. Je ne crois vraiment sur moi. Ils ont sont sales, ils t'ont conservé. Ça va faire rester, on va faire avec Fred ça. Ça ah, c'est bon, mais. Ça c'est bon, mais. Ok, alright. On va y foutre. Alright. Now, uh, Trust and Trunk. Number 5 generation. Come on, man. That's four. No, they, they tell me they was number 4. I'm just saying. Oh, 3, yeah. They're number three, you're number four. Oh, five with Keith. Five with Keith, yeah. yeah. Keith the fifth one, I'm in four, man. How long you been playing? Ooh, I started. I bought a car when I was about 20. Five or 20. I think it was 28. Like, but uh, before, I never listened to what they said. You see, at that time when I came, we call that la la music. You know, mm -hmm. which I guess is. French music, but it went. Uh, I went to see Clifton a few times. I wasn't interested in that kind of music at all. I just got into that kind of music after they, they was uh, dad had kept in insisting he'd buy me a card and I need to, to learn how to play a card and do. Because they had that old man that uh, right down the road, he was married to my grandmother. They called him Flayol. I think he, he knew about, about three songs. That's all he could play. So they kept asking me, see Uncle Carlton went to go meet them and they would all the time have it like it's just a jam session would have, but you know, it's like a little part of every once a week, sometimes twice a week. And he and Uncle Carlton said he drank a little bit at that time, so he was that old man too, he was drinking a little bit. So I guess they would play it every, almost every week. They, that might be one way it, to, to do it that way. He said they may have a little chance to drink more often and By them little parties like that. <laughs> <laughs> so mm -hmm. that's how I got mainly I got 
evolving with this kind of stuff. But at first, me, I never was interested in nothing about no music. Well, I listened to rock and roll, good music or whatever. But a lot of chords, and I called it Lala at that time. When I passed him club, I just shoo, straight, mm -hmm. never stopped. And what's the name of the club where you saw Slick? I think Richard is the first time I ever seen him. And he used to play a lot, a lot at that time. He was there all the time. But it just never did interest in that kind of stuff. And but it's just a matter of once you I guess you listen or get involved or listen more to that kind of stuff. You might get the way you get interested in that stuff. So that's uh, when I would go meet them. I met went met Uncle Carl them when we had it in my grandmother's you know, a few times. And then finally I said, Well let me I'm gonna try it. And I bought a a cardin in Kenda, a little horn cardin. I didn't know what key it was or nothing. I just bought it because he had it on the comp. And it was a seal card and it was a wet tune. So I bought it. I didn't know G, F, or nothing, no. <laughs> just knew how to push and pull. But what, I didn't know music at all? Nothing whatsoever. Then I had a book with it. <laughs> so <laughs> the book tell you, don't really mean fast so a lot doing, you know, stuff. That's how they tell you which, which Key would push, and would you give you the which on on a, on a single card? In, you pull it. There's one note. You push it. Something different. You pull and push it. You got ten keys on it, but it's push and pull is all all different ones. So every every one. You got when when you close them, it's all you got two notes pretty much the same. But when you push them, you pull them. It's two different notes on the same uh, card. In. So it makes a little bit different. So when I but that according, I didn't know nothing about no music at all. I bought some records, bought some tapes. I thought I was, I was doing real good. Mm. So when I get with uh, Uncle Carlton, he told me, he said, no, you're not even coming, you're not even close to where you're supposed to be. I say, it sound just like what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. I said, well, you, you ain't even close. But what helped me to start learning what push and pull was for, is my wife started helping me. She'd read the book and tell me you're supposed to push, you're supposed to pull, and I would, I would, <laughs> I would look at the thing, we would read it, and the first song I ever learned that card was uh, Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. I read it in the mm -hmm. book, and it, it, step by step, then finally I learned. But when it came to try to play f um, songs, I didn't know, then I turned to Daddy. And I would go meet him at night. I'd go meet him. I'd go. After I get off work, I go meet him that night and he'd, he'd play one or two songs a night. And what I do, I didn't try to really learn it uh, all at that, that time. But what I do, he let me. He played for me, try to, uh, cause he knew music, you know, Christian, French music. Well, I didn't know none of it, so he knew the sound. What well, I told him what a sound was, what key was supposed to be. So he sounded. Then finally, he learned it, how to play it. And when so what I'd do, I'd go meet him, and he'd show me and step by step and everything. What I was doing all the time, I was memorizing it. When I come back here the next day, next night, I'd work, work until I learned it. The next, the next time I'd go back, learn two, three more again. But all the time, he, he, he never did, I never did try to really, I tried, but look, I couldn't do no, nothing good enough, because he was doing much better than I could. So I leave, I, I memorize it, I come back. I'd work until I learned them all like it's supposed to be, step by step until I learned them. And kept on, then finally I, I knew enough to where I could start doing it on my own then. That's how I really got, really got involved in it like that, I was able to learn it. Before, I probably would have never learned it. It wouldn't be for them. Is that the same way Keith learned? Well, Keith, he started, uh, well, I was already playing when he started, when he got, so, How Keith got started, I uh, uh, bought that, a set of drums. And it was about six or seven. But I had so much trouble with with some of the musicians I had, that I drummed. So the key from Keith had, sometimes you might show up, sometimes you might, so he was kind of independent. So I said, well, what I do, I bought a, myself a set of drums. 
and I tried to train Keith, and he learned. That's how he learned how to play the drum first. That's how you got to learn it. But I, I, I'm not gonna say he really, because <coughs> at that time he wasn't injured at all. I brain with him, but he, when he when he was playing, and he just when he, him and his mom would be together, he'd sit to the table, and he'd sleep all night long on the table, with his head on the table. Wasn't interested in that whatsoever. Yeah. He got interested in that after I don't know how, but he got this. So, but what I'd mainly done with him, I kind of shove it down his throat. There ain't no choice but to learn how to play. And once he learned, the first recording I done with him, I think he was about six or seven years old. Uh, I recorded a, a, on a 45 with a hula. Uh, hey, my little woman, and he played drums for me at that time. And he recorded the album at the same time too. But Leo was on the drum at that time. With me. But he I put him by himself on that and he did a good job with it. But he was more weak. Not, you know, I say strength wise, you know, to be strong on the drum like uh he's supposed to be. But his his brother at the age he was was stronger than Keith was. But Keith got stronger after on the drum, yeah. This, that's the way mainly I got started. I just, and then he got started too. I just shoved it down his throat. There ain't, ain't no choice. And he's doing good with it. It's paying off for him right now. <laughs> that's for sure. How often you playing now? I don't play that that much no more since they got started now. So I don't play that much. After he got to where he can handle it now, so I just kind of back off and I, and I in so much trouble to get a band right now. Somebody can depend on. If you get a, a real good musician, you can get, you can he not playing. It's got to be something wrong with him somewhere. He got some fault somewhere <laughs> in him. A real good one, it's got to be something wrong. You know, if he's not playing, because a real good one, he gonna be busy. But if you find a real good one, now sometimes you may hit lucky at the time when it, when it, when you can't get him, he just stopped playing with somebody else. You know, but sometimes if he's not playing. You get real good. Mm -hmm. You got some faults somewhere. That makes sense. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, what's the name of your band? Well, my band when I was playing was was Preston Frank and Zodical Family Band. That's when I had all my all three of my children with me, and my uncle was playing with me too. But now, it ain't. I don't have no band to move right now. So I just mainly when I get some somebody, I just Preston Frank and Zodical Band to play. You know, and friends sometimes, but it all depends, you know. Yo, <coughs> you and Mr. Carlson, y'all still play? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we still play together. We practice uh, uh, a lot, too. Both of our workshops and festivals and things like that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we still, I still do some stuff with my, my family every once in a while when, when we can get together. Mm -hmm. It's not that often Keith and I can get together because so busy, but sometimes we can get together. Then when uh, when we I play with them, you see, because I brought them up, which in the same room right here, we practice until they were small and younger. And I practice with them, but they get so mad sometimes at me. Cause I say, let's go practice. Mm -hmm. Well, they get mad right away. They hate that like a passion. Mm -hmm. But now they, they ought to be thanking me for all that. That work I put on, for, you know, is paying off for them. Fortune, yeah. yeah. How much have you seen the music change? Uh, from when I was playing? Mm -hmm. uh, it changed, not drastically, but it, it changed gradually. And it's changing more, more of a double beat. Uh, kind of rhythm, you know, we have now. So it's kind of, it's changed. Right? Wish they changed to, they call it a nouveau zodico uh, style of dancing now, compared to when I was playing. I remember Slim used to get in more people all the time, but it's the old way. That's the way I learned. I never, mm -hmm. I'm not going to say I was a good dancer. I never was, never was, but I pretty well get along with mm -hmm. that. But uh, it's changed quite a bit. Comparing that when I was playing, because they got a more of a mm -hmm. a big deal, you know. So you got to be super to, to 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 do that right now. 
Oh, you a lot in your feet, weren't you? <laughs> uh, yeah. Some old, they said that's why nowadays the more, the more people can't dance more like that because you'd be uh, a song if it's kind of long, you'd be short winning. That's it. Mm-hmm. You can't you can't dance the one or two in uh, one night. But show me, it should be a phew, be breathing mm-hmm. hard. Eh? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wow. Well, has it? I'm not really that good at it, but I'm. I can defend myself pretty well and then uh, understand better than I can talk. Yeah. Yeah, maybe I can still part of this. Yeah. Uh, I'm one of the parole that I'm not going to be able to do. So, that's a style. Parce que les gens, les, les, les paroles, je ne les comprends pas parce que je ne peux pas les dire. Ça fait la, ça, ça, ça fait la différence. Mm. Mais tu n'as pas manqué un an. Encore, bon mais bon bon encore, plus que pas bon trop. Bon Là, je vais manquer la fin à tout le monde. Tu pas encore. Tu pas manqué un an. Mais ça, c'est ça que l'engage les soirs. Oui. Mm-hmm. Parce que tu veux, là, on est ici, à la ville de place, ça parle différent. Qu'on fait à ce qu'on n'est pas. Mais c'est différent. C'est différent. Mm-hmm. La, la faillite. C'est différent aussi. Mm-hmm. Elle parle comme euh, la faillite, quoi. Avec moi, Kurubini, elle appelle ça. Ok. Yeah. Good job. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mais c'est ça, c'est différent de même. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mais euh, la face, moi, ça a vu qu'on ça a été aussi en 1980. C'est là où c'était, c'était meilleur pour parler créole euh, mm-hmm. que américain parce que quand on était là-bas, américain ça ne comprend pas du tout. Du tout. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. En créole ça ne comprend pas me- meilleur. Je dis, ah, non, ça veut dire. On dit les, les américains c'est le meilleur pour les autres comprennent, mais non, on comprend, comprend meilleur en créole plutôt en euh, américain. Yeah. C'est Et, German, c'est pas chalet du tout. Non, non. Je pense qu'il y a plus de monde qui t'a chanté que ça. Oui, tiens. Mais tu voudrais dire que tu as pour les jouer sur tous les locaux. Je dis, ouais, ça, ça fait plaisir, c'est. C'est que ça t'embête. Tu ne te pas pour l'autre. L'autre affaire, juste, c'est juste, c'est yeah, c'est pas, parce que je me, je commence à bégayer, là, c'est plus bon, c'est <rire> Il a pas mêlé dans l'intérêt, là. Yeah. If I, if I did, today, uh, you know, the way things is now, you know, if I had to tell somebody, about it, you know, do what you, you can. Don't worry about what the other one do. Don't worry about anybody else. Do your best what you can. That's the way I always been. I've never said I was the best, you know, uh, I just try my best, and I just let God do the rest. So that's why I always did, I'm gonna tell them, do your best, and try your best, and let yeah. God do the rest. But okay, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So that's all I want them to do. That's why I want them to tell Keith, don't worry about nobody else. Mm-hmm. Do your job, and and they gonna show what you got, what your job be doing later on, which mm-hmm. now it help them a lot more. Mm-hmm. And if you worry about everybody else, you ain't gonna get nowhere. Don't worry about nobody. Just worry about do your thing. Just worry about you. Don't worry about nobody else. That's why mm-hmm. I think. That's why I, I, I done my best. I just let the, let things take the rest. Mm-hmm.
turned on. No, no, don't stand. Have you already? Y'all do like
Ja, du dyb. Åh, 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 <laughs> he say when the song get get when it's something real good, he said he. Oh, he hard day. He hard, but if it's not too good, he just he be like. He just want puppy. If it's good, you know, you go see it. If it's not bad, it's not that good. It's not that good. But when you hear it, you see the hit hard. Look, look, I hit hard on the cement. My feet hurt. No kidding, yeah. Quand le corps ne connaît pas qui se peut le jouer. Je voulais ça que le Jacques me l'a dit. Je veux la chose. Tu as tout blégué Tu as tout blégué Tu as tout blégué Tu as tout blégué Start yet, then we can get it started. See what's happening. Right? <laughs>
Ich bin ganz heller. <lacht> <lacht>